If you thought for one minute that I was not going to get the cream products from Fenty Beauty, you were wrong. I have them right here. I ordered a little bit more with the Sephora VIB sale that is going on right now, but things, they didn't arrive. So regardless, I decided to put up this video and I'm going to give you, you know, in this channel, I like to do a lot of comparisons. We're going to compare from Chanel, Tom Ford, Milk Makeup and so forth. So you can see whether you maybe have these shades. Also, I'm going to go over pricing. We're going to see if these are really waterproof or not. I mean, I have a lot of information here for you aside to the demonstration. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Also, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads if you haven't done so yet. Come and check my Instagram. And for those who are my subscribers, thank you so much again for being here. Thank you to all of you for your time. And now let's jump into the demo. I got you close enough right here. And let me show you the box for these new Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Free Style Cream Bronzers. The shade that I got is 04 Honey Glaze and they come in seven different shades. Mine in particular is for a medium to tiny skin tones. And then let's just check it out how it looks inside. So the outer package is very cohesive with the line is that same octagon shape compact. And the way to differentiate between the cream bronzer to the regular bronzer from Fenty Beauty is that they just add the big word right here, cream, which I think is very edgy and I, I like the idea. You know, they went a little bit more bold and I like it. I like the packaging is this beautiful gold shade, a little bit leaning to rose gold, but not completely rose gold. And I really, really like it. Okay, friends. Now this product right here is made in Italy. So let's take a peek how it looks inside. And then the shelf life is of 12 months and it comes with 6.23 grams of product or 0.22 ounces. Alrighty. Honestly, it looks, in person, it doesn't look super yellowish as I see in the camera, but it kind of has an orange hue to it. So let me just swatch it and see. And the powder bronzer that I own from Fenty Beauty is in the shape Private Island. I used to have Island Team, but actually this shade looks best on my skin tone. So there you go. And same thing with the powder bronzers. They lean a little bit more on the yellowish tones. So the cream bronzer is just a dash darker and Private Island is actually just a little bit more neutral. Okay, and since this is a cream product, I'm gonna be using a synthetic hair brush. You can use natural hair brushes. The only thing is um, the natural hair brushes will absorb a little bit more of the product, as well as it may stain them and it may be harder to take out the pigment, but you know, nothing to worry about, but I'm gonna be using a synthetic one. I'm just gonna start all the way to the back. Okay, this has a reddish undertone. Definitely not for contouring, but actually really to bronze up your face. I think it looks good, mostly because I do have a golden undertone to my skin. I like to use a little bit of bronzer right on the side of my nose. It honestly, it was really nice and easy to blend. I don't think it formed any patches anywhere. When you are able to see it in camera, I think it blend nicely. It blended well. While I was shopping at Sephora, I purchased three of the new Cheeks Out Free Style Cream Blushes from Fenty Beauty. But I don't know. 
Sephora has been a little bit crazy. I, I mean, I know it's crazy times and I'm sure they're like struggling to get things out at a time of like such a big sale. But anyhow, my order got canceled. I had to replace it, but then <laughs> the blushes, they were already sold out. So I just had it, I mean, it forced me to do a third order every time that one of them, you know, came back in a stock. So anyhow, I finally was able to get at least two of them and I got them in the shades Fuego Flash and Strawberry Drip. And these ones, they come, I mean, same packaging, they come with three grams of product or 0.10 ounces of product and they are also made in Italy. Now, a thing that I want to point out right here is that both of these products, the bronzer and the blushes, they contain a derivative of coconut oil. So if you have an allergic reaction to coconut oil, you may want to stay away from these friends right here. And then as part of the shelf life for these blushes, again, is 12 months. And the compact of the blushes, they are different from the bronzers, not only on the color, on the material, but also obviously on the size. These are kind of like bite size, whitish color. I mean, they are cute, kind of like travel friendly and tiny and you know, whatever. I'm going to go over pricing and details about these blushes in a little. I just want to give you a little bit of an overlook of how they look side by side because a lot of people, I'm sure, they have been a little bit surprised by the size. First, I'm going to try the shade Fuego, which is this really pretty tangerine type of shade. And I'm going to first give it a quick swatch. Okay, this is kind of like a goldeny tone. Pretty sheer. Let me see if I can build it up a little more. I hope that you can see it right there. Is this very nice tangerine goldeny tone and it does have a little bit of a specks of glitter shimmer but it's very very fine it's not so so much okay so I'm going to use my beloved Lancome brush this is also a synthetic brush so I'm just gonna put it a little bit higher up Okay, so this is a really nice shade, very cohesive with something that is more a hybrid between a blush and a highlighter and a shade that actually mimics a lot that flush that you will get if you, first of all, if you are my undertone and you have a sunburn, just like that. I actually like it. Okay, so let me try it with my finger on this side. Okay, I think you can see it maybe a little bit more right there. Definitely a finger application will give you the most pigment. And then if you want to disperse it, then you go with a brush. Okay, and now let me show you the other shade right here. This is Strawberry Drip. This is a really nice, kind of like corally pink shade. Okay, let's apply it right here. Okay, so let me just see how it blends with my finger. It actually blends really nicely. And I'm just gonna take it a little bit up, kind of like mimicking a sunburn. As you can tell, I'm so ready for summer. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm gonna be using another synthetic brush. This time is the 310 by Linda Halbert. I really like this shade. I'm wondering if I can use it for my lips. Definitely you can use it for your lips, but it will not give you any type of gloss. Let's see with this type of flash. I'm just spray right in the middle. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. 
Oh, how cute. I like it. Okay, definitely you can even use it for your lips. Now, it's not super emollient. It has more of like a... I shouldn't say dry, but it's, it's not that emollient kind of like greasy look that it will give you. So therefore, on your lips too, it will look more like a stain than an actual gloss. But I like it. Okay, friends, let me finish with my eye makeup and then I will be right back with you. We will talk about my thoughts, details about these new products from Fenty Beauty. Let's compare the bronzer with an OG bronzer, the Celeil Tan de Chanel, which they have also reformulated. They, I mean, if we compare it in sense of ingredients these two products they do contain coconut if you have the original one of chanel doesn't have coconut but if you have the new one the reformulated one it does have coconut okay so let's go for the one from fenty again honey glaze and then here is chanel honey glaze from fenty and the soleil one from chanel so this is definitely a lot lighter. I may think, I mean, again, I don't have it with me, but perhaps there is an, um, the shade under this one, shade 03, I think it's Macchiato. That may be closer to this one from Chanel. Maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have it in front of me, but that could be a possibility. Okay, and then I have another one right here that I really, really love as a bronzer. It is by Tom Ford, and this one is the shade and Illuminate, and I have it in the shade Intensity 1. Now, this one right here is more neutral in tone, I'm pretty sure, than the one from Fenty Beauty. Yeah, as you can see, a lot, a lot more neutral. Okay, and then last, Another one that is very popular and I think it's a great value for your money is the one from Milk Makeup. And this one right here is matte. So let's just see right here. There you go. So in tone, it's fairly comparable to the Honey Glaze. Honey Glaze is still a lot more warmer. It has a lot more of these orange undertone to it while this one from milk makeup has a little bit of i mean in comparison with the other ones it's neutral but it does have a tiny little bit of red in it now let's go really quick into the blushes now for this shade strawberry drip i don't have anything i like to this shade and then going into the shade fuego i do have a few that are very similar to this tangerine tone. Not in cream though, in actually powder. I do have this Scott Barnes palette and we have this shade right here, Mango Thieves. And you can actually use each of these blushes separately, but the way that Scott Barnes suggests is also to, you know, just mix. And actually he uses this shade, Mango Thieves, to actually mix in and kind of top off your look, which it gives a really beautiful, again, that little sun kiss golden tone. Okay, so let me just go ahead and swatch the one from Fenty. And this Mango Feast is a powder blush. So they are actually very close in shade very very close and then i have another one right here that kind of have that same kind of vibes of tangerine this is a little bit darker from jouet this palette right here is not anymore available but there's a duo that just came out like about a month and a half ago from jouet and it's available right now at sephora that it contains a very similar shade so i'm just gonna put it right over here this is even a little bit more golden, kind of like a burnt gold, but it's still within the same family. And then last, I do have here these Fenty Beauty Blush Stick in Chili Mango. And I'm sure many of you may be wondering, do I really need it if I have these 
and this is another kind of tangerine shade if you need the fuego one if you already have this one this one right here has even more orange in it so let me just keep a quick swatch here yeah this is a, a lot more orange okay so I'm gonna clean these swatches out dry out my hands and I'm gonna swatch them again all on one hand and the reason why I wanted to swatch them again is because I want to take you to my kitchen sink and we're gonna run some water through them and see if they are water resistant because I was reading through the description of these products and the claims that Fenty Beauty says these are waterproof or water resistant and let's see if that's true so let's go to the kitchen sink okay so we're here in my kitchen sink so i'm just gonna first run some water through these products i feel like they are okay. as you can tell they don't look even greasy do you see right here they they look more like a stain more than anything else. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through like this, being very gentle. And here's what I got on my hands. So they are not rubbing off really easily. So let me just keep running some water. They are staying pretty well. I think this one right here, strawberry drip, faded a little bit more, but not much. This other shade, Fuego, and the bronzer is staying pretty well too. I mean, now if you come a little bit more raw, they will come off, but not, I mean, completely. You can see a stain, but you know, that's pressing really hard. Okay, my friends, we just returned from my kitchen sink, and I think I have some ideas about these products right here. First of all, if I like them, I do like them. I love the outcome, the way that my makeup looks, but there's a few things that I want you to know about these products. First of all, it is the price. Um, so, I mean, Fenty Beauty is a high-end makeup carried at Sephora. They haven't promoted themselves as being very economic, but most of their pricing are, you know, fairly comparable to other brands at Sephora. But going into, say, the bronzer right here, this one comes with 6.23 grams of product for $32, okay? Now, if we go to something like Milk Makeup that is also carried at Sephora, and this product right here contains 28 grams of product. 28 grams for $28. This is the large size. $28 versus $32. I mean, I know the packaging is different. This is, you know, a compact and whatnot. But if we're talking about results and you know pricing and value for the money that you know you have worked really hard for, I think this is a little bit I shouldn't say overpriced, but I think you know they are pricing it really high per gram. Even in fact, like comparing it with say Tom Ford, that shade and illuminate. These one right here costs eighty-eight dollars, but this comes with two products. So say if you divide it, it will be forty-four dollars for one pan, right? And this comes with fourteen grams of product, which if you take half of it is seven grams, and this one right here is six point twenty-three grams. So I mean, it's fairly close. I mean, this will be forty-four dollars, thirty-two dollars for a John Four one. So I mean, this is more pricey, definitely. And going into that, same thing with the blushes. So the blushes are $20. And when I saw them coming, I talk about them in a couple of my last Will I Buy It? And I said how excited I was. And yes, on the promo picture, they look like they were smaller than the actual bronzers. But to begin with, the packaging, 
is not even i mean like it's this white packaging that i know she has this white packaging but it's plastic it's nothing fancy or nothing that it will you know make you feel a little bit more luxurious it's just simple as cute not only that but the class right here okay i i honestly had my husband in the morning opening them because i couldn't open it yesterday and in fact i just painted my nails with simple nail polish and i ruined my thumb <laughs> nail right here because of trying to open it so let me just close it okay and let's see trying to open it there you go and it doesn't open and i just okay it's it's hard to open so i think the packaging is just like really and I know $20 may not seem that much. I got it with my discount. I'm a Rouge member. So I was able to get 20% discounts. So it ended up costing me $16 plus tax, right? So it doesn't seem like a lot of difference, but honestly, there are other products in the market that they have more product and they cost less. I mean, going into really quick here. I have the new Natasha Denona Bloom palette and okay this is a teen kind of packaging okay I mean not super fancy but I, I think at least it looks a little bit I don't know more substantial than those and this one costs $19 it's also made in Italy and this comes with four grams of product I know the difference is not a lot but this comes with three grams I mean, it's one full gram less, and this one costs less money, is Natasha Denona. I'm not saying the Fenty Beauty is not Fenty Beauty, but what I'm saying is like, I don't know, I just feel like the value, I think that it's just a little bit, I will have rather seen, although a lot of people have said, and me included, I don't use so much cream lashes to go through this much, but I will have rather seen something a little bit more substantial, a little bit bigger, didn't need to be as big as the bronzer, but just a little bit bigger, or maybe even like a fun thing, like the two pans that she used to do, one pan, two different blushes, I don't know. Something a little bit just, a little bit bigger, would it, would it be a little bit nicer? Not that we need all that amount of product, but I just feel that the pricing is, I mean, the value per gram is not the same. This one right here is kind of like a cream blush from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one comes with 0.41 ounces of product. Well, this one comes with 0.10 ounces of product. This one right here, it is $34. I mean, yes, you're paying $14 more for these, but you're getting four times more than this. If you multiply these four times, this will be $80 just to get the amount of product that you get on this. So hopefully it makes sense that I just think that although it doesn't, I mean, the way the marketing method that they are using at pricing it so low, it may seem very attractive and they will get their sales out, but I think it's just a little bit overpriced for what it is. And then talking about the formula, these products are right here, both the blushes and the bronzers, they are not really emollient. They act more like a stain and they have more of a satin finish. They go first, obviously, because you can even feel it when, when you touch them. They feel like if they will be something emollient and perhaps something that you will feel not greasy, but kind of balmy but they set on your skin, leaving these very natural satin finish with a very, very, very light, light glow, which I particularly like, and I think it's gonna be very appealing to many people, for those who have oily skin too. And in fact, you can, cream products are basically for those who they either want a very natural look and they don't set their makeup just like myself but if you're a person that likes to go and set your makeup i'm sure you can use these as a base and actually they will make your other products last longer mostly the blushes and even the bronzers so you can just go on top with a powder bronzer and a powder blush and they will last a lot longer throughout the day now what i like is they are really water 
proof water resistant i mean you saw it on my on my demo i think they resist well i mean i'm sure if you're going to a pool party you're gonna you're not gonna rub your face but you say if you need to go under the water you know say you're swimming under the water you come out and all of that they will dry and you will still have them on so this makes them really a good product for summertime you know times that we are at the beach and whatnot and they faded in a way that they didn't look like you know a muddy mess now as far as the description from fenty they say that these blushes are sheer and i think it will depend on what type of application you use if you go with your finger you're gonna get a little bit more pigment a little bit more product on you and then you can easily just you know blend it in but i don't think they are sheer also the different tones that they have from one to ten they are meant to be for different skin tones so you can you know like if you don't know which one to get and right now that we're not able to go to the stores and you know try them and see them you can kind of guide yourself with that but i don't think these are completely sheer you can cheer them out either with your finger after the first application or going with a synthetic brush like i did and that way you can build them up at your desire and then another thing that is super important is the uniqueness of the blushes i think fenty beauty she has come out with shades and i think in her entire line shades that another brands may be afraid to come out with to launch these kind of like punchy tangerine shades or even there's a kind of like lilac lavender purple tone right there but actually the base of that purple tone it's more into kind of like a rosy tone it's just it seems in the pan like that but regardless it's like she has come out with shades that they are once that they are common like there's one i think it's called petal popping that is more like your common coral shade that you can find in you know so many different brands even like a, there's one that is called rose rose something that is more kind of like your neutral tone so she has come out with these shades that are like okay you know if you want something that you may be like okay this is something that i have tried before in the sense of like shade but she also has given us something more fun something that you know we can play around now as far as the bronzers goes i will really love to see them in person because i feel like some of them like this one right here has a very orangey reddish undertone to it while i think like for example there's a shade up teddy it looks more like a regular bronzer like a bronzer that i will be able to use perhaps more full and winter time this bronzer right here the honey glaze i love it but i feel like it's a shade that i will take the best advantage of during the spring summertime mostly summertime because it just gave me this very goldeny look to my skin and again it will depend on your skin tone not only like if you're light to medium medium tan not only that but also your undertone in the way that it will pull same thing with the blushes and in conclusion i do like the products that i use i really love the outcome the finished look that it gave me i mean everything looks like really nice pretty it doesn't look blotchy or patchy anywhere i mean everything blended really easily and i like i like the products that i got i'm still waiting for one more blush and i mean you know the mail is right now all over the place so i'm pretty sure things will arrive i will make sure to make obviously a sephora haul and then perhaps a try on haul and maybe there i will try the blush from fenty the other blush that is coming i don't know or i will put it on my instagram something like that i would love to read your comments down below let me know have you picked any of these items are you intrigued are you wanting to get them no your opinion is so important let's start the conversation below i'm greatly greatly appreciative for your time right here and if you haven't done so yet you're waiting too long i hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel also ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my content if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and let's entertain ourselves thank you so so much again for watching until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye